First mod we have today is the Drifter, which allows me to play as a car. We are going to slay the Spire as a car. The Drifter is a mysterious street racer from a far off land, seeks to test his skills on the ultimate downhill, but first he must reach the top. <laughs> Just look at how goofy this is. So we've got one HP or max HP. Let's take a look, see if we can snipe any elites. We could get uh, this one here and then have some fights after it, but no additional elites. That doesn't seem like a great path. What we could also do is snag a few free cards Take on the Burning Man, and then have this path to work with. Seems kind of appealing. I like just taking on the Burning Man early, since I'll save a lot of HP with this. So away we go. I don't know what to expect here, but that's nothing new. We've got Strikes and Defends, obviously. Speedster, deal 12 damage, draw 3 cards. It seems like beautiful sounds effects. Uh, it feels like drawing cards is a big part of this. Deal 10 damage, gain 1 vulnerable. Deal 12 damage, discard 3 cards. So drawing and discarding. Road Rage. Deal 9 damage, discard all skills in your hand to replace them with Rage. Oh my god, yes. Let's get really angry. Road Rage. We're zooming. See? Gain 7, block, break 2. Break is draw one less card at the start of your next turn for each break. I don't like that. Second, wind. Gain 6, block. If you have two or fewer cards in your hand, gain energy. That seems alright. Deal 16 damage. If this kills an enemy, gain one speed. Speed. At the start of your next turn, draw one extra card for each speed and gain negative effects based on your speed. So if you go too fast... Could be a little dangerous. You gain vulnerable, lose dexterity, or lose traction. I think I'm just gonna go with the second wind here. Get a decent block card as well. Are we going to a store? We're about to go to a shop, so let's uh, only take one potion here just so that we can maybe look at more cards and potentially relics? No relics. Gain two dexterity. Your speed is considered to be one less for each for its negative effects. Ooh, that's actually seemingly pretty interesting. We could get another Road Rage for $69. Or we can tailgate someone. I feel like the second Rage is a little bit less appealing. I don't know. I'm a lazy driver. I like a little bit of cruise control. Let's invest investigate the speed mechanic. Tailgating doesn't do that much damage. I mean, it's a strike plus that draws you two cards. What? <laughs> It's just an upgraded quick slash, which is a fine common damage card. Ah! Rage! Oh, I love that card. All right, we've got a headlight flash. Deal one damage and apply one week to all enemies. Just did three damage in one week. Gain one speed exhaust. So that's a permanent plus one card each turn until our speed is reduced somehow. Safe driving? Who wants that? Let's gain some speed. And take on this burning man. Bop! I don't think I have two or few cards in here, in my hand. So let's just do that. We might, uh... Wait, do I not discard... my hand? Boom! a lot of damage. Hmm. Just throw the damage out. Do I have... No. I, don't have... I have one defend here. Might as well play it. Should save me health because I've got a lot of damage cards in my deck still. But I don't think I want to play the tenacity until I go in on my damage. Easy. Oh, no, not Pen Nib right away. <laughs> this is supposed to be a fun run. All right, deal 12 damage, drift 2. What does drifting do? At the end of your turn, 
Gain block and deal damage to the enemy with the lowest HP equal to your drift. When you drift, gain momentum, which maintains your drift. Discard any number of cards, lose one vulnerability, and gain each three block for each. Finally, we can answer the age-old question. What happens when you run a 1985 Toyota AE86 directly into a three-story tall Eldritch organ without wearing a seatbelt? Hold on, hold on. I'm wearing my seatbelt, you know. So, let's be clear about that. I am abiding by one of the traffic laws. I kind of want to check out the new mechanics, so let's take the, uh, the drift. Just so that we can explore that a little bit. Speaking of... Oh, we're, look at that! We're drifting! Look at us go! Okay, so we retain our hand after the first turn. That's what's going on. I never on here. wear a seatbelt. It delays me from running in the 90s. All right, let's uh let's rage. All right, we're no longer drifting, so we do lose some of the drift. Zoom. All right, let's uh, drink this, grab a smoke bomb. Oh, we got our first rare card. Spin out, activate your drift, gain two thorns. Gain block and damage equal to the lowest. Okay, so it just, instead of end of turn, it does it immediately. And then we spend our drift, basically. I don't have that much drift to uh, spin out with yet. So let's uh, go with a, a block card that gains us more drift because drifting is fun. You heard it here first. Uh-oh. I do not have good AoE. Okay, this guy should die. Streamer the pen nib. Let's actually do this. This is the elite fight I didn't know I was encountering here. Uh, my drift is actually only two. So it just resets the drift, it would seem. Okay. You know, a lot of people who spend time watching Twitch are in their tweens. Thank you for providing them with such a good, cautious driving lessons. Yeah, just buckle up and start drifting. That's all you need to know. That guy's starting to hurt a little bit. Let's actually get our cruise control growing. That should die now, right? Because of the drift. Boom! Easy. Well met! Lurking, but very much enjoying the content. Can't wait to see more of this on YouTube. I hey, appreciate that, Lex. Glad you're enjoying the content. Draw eight. Jeez, that's a lot of card draw. Gain six block. Draw two cards next turn. Kind of like the bob and weave here. Especially since, like, we might want to go a little bit more defensive, considering the fact that, like, we have the deck scaling from the cruise control. I think that's where we're leaning. Especially now with the Fart of War. So maybe we upgrade that uh, cruise control, or at least investigate what it is. Eh. We don't have that much speed going. So maybe we try and increase our drift a bit. Now let's go with the Bob and Weave upgrade. Vroom! I'm gonna kill that. Okay. 
Welcome, Star Swirly. So, let's gain some block. Maybe discard a strike. And we can go here. Do I want to draw these cards right now? Okay, we take one damage here. Zero damage here. But we are no longer drifting. We are zooming, though. Oh, yeah. This gets us a lot of road rage. And there we go. Let's uh, do some drifting. So angy. New potion. All right, breaking is for cowards. That's one thing I've learned from every driving game I've ever played. I don't want to lose speed. I want to keep going. Now let's get another bob and weave. Oh my god. Uh, cruise control. Bob and weave. Defend. And we get to keep the road rage, which is nice. Because I've been meaning to yell at some jaw worms. Let's bob and weave and then get just absurdly angry right now. Streamer the pen nib. Nobody told me. Just joined. What am I watching? It's obviously just a typical Slay the Spire run. I don't know what your deal is. Let's drift a bit. That gets me to 10 block. So we can just double strike here. Zoom! Unlucky. All right, speed burst. Draw three cards, return three this turn. Traction tires. Traction improves drift gained by cards. I like it. And deal two damage twice, increased for by two for each vulnerable you have. I'm not real. I'm doing drifting, not. Uh, not vulnerable stuff. You think race car drivers make car sounds while driving? I mean, I'm just... I'm saying I would. Alright, let's take on another Elite. We have Pen Nib ready to go. So let's... do this to full block. and then go into Rage. Hey, Ruffle. Hey, what's up? I tripped this morning and dropped my toothpaste. Can you believe it? I'm totally crestfallen. Thandrian, thank you for the... <laughs> thank you for the bits. Um, Maybe we start drifting a bit here. We do take extra damage... But, I think it helps us get the kill a little bit quicker over the course of this fight. This is now 7. I'm always double blocking. You think this is a well-made character? I have done 13 floors, but so far it's a lot of fun. Alright, we're drifting again. That puts me at 8 block. I can probably just get away with that. And I want to draw multiple attacks so that I can attack this guy with the pen nib. I drew zero attacks. Okay. So we go here. Here. And that was pointless. I thought that was the card that drew me cards, not the... Uh, gained me energy. Okay. 
It's time to rage again, chat. Just like yesterday when I was playing Hearthstone. Another bob and weave. All right, let's try drifting even harder. And then we always transform here so we can see more cards. Ooh, 135 degree turn. That's got to be a drifting thing, right? Drift 5. This card's drift is affected by strength and dexterity. Well, we gain dex. I'm fighting Slime Boss. Let's increase our traction so that we can continue drifting harder. Okay, we want to get some speed going so that we go faster and get more cards. And let's drift five here. Drift some more. And rage. Drift some more. I'm drifting harder than I've ever drifted before, chat. Also, I'm taking more damage than I've ever taken before. So let's prevent that. Perfect block. And let's actually throw this so that we can make the next phase of the fight a little bit easier. Drift some more. Well, let's just get a strike in, start working our way through that. Wow. These are some very kind slimes right now. Increase drift. Get some more rage built up. That dies. I overkilled it. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. It's just coffee. Relax. You drift, you drift five. That gives me more block. Break the slime. Man, I'm a phenomenal driver. Let's rage a bit. Rage a bit more. That was way too much damage. What am I doing? It's fine. It's perfect. I'm the greatest driver on the planet. Daring Stunt. Discard 12 cards. What? Okay, that requires me to have a lot of vulnerable. Gear up or gear down. Gain 2 strength, lose 2 dex. It's interesting. Activate your drift. Draw cards... Next turn equal to your drift, lose your drift. This seems like the way to Is go. Is it fair to say you're the greatest driver, Mansa? A? A? I, I think so. I think so. Not only is it fair, it's necessary to say. I think we just grab a U-turn here, because that plays with the drift that we've been accumulating. And we just look for Sneko Eye here. Uh, Runic Pyramid is always welcome. It plays real nice with my, uh, the drifter steering wheel option. No bing bong, chat. No. We got the actual be best option. Oh, I've got a bunch of money. I've already killed Bernie Man, I can take two elites if I go this route and get a shop early, or I can investigate this path, and that looks maybe a little bit better. So let's try that. Runic Pyramid is basically Sneko, but not really. Well, I mean, it's it's kind of similar in that it, like, the reason Sneko is good is it gives you card draw, right? And so holding cards is kind of the same thing. This Accelerate looks a lot worse now, though. So does this opening hand. Jeez. Uh, here we go. Gas, gas, gas.
All right. Got our good tires set up, and we're going to start drifting now. Bob and weave. Grab this 20 degree turn. This is way too much block. What am I doing? Chat, why would you let me do that? Guys, stop texting Raffle. He's driving right now. That's true and real. What were you thinking? Oh my god, the road rage is going to be silly with the... Uh... I don't want to lose my drift just yet. I'm kind of using it. I think we just rage. Drift some more. Wow. Blasted. Okay, so we're, our drift is three. Where's our momentum? We don't have momentum yet. That's the momentum. Okay. Let's just kill that burge. So we can work our way through the second one. Why am I drawing cards there? Let's drift a bit more. Oh, is it... Is it because of the overdraw effect that I'm accumulating? You would draw cards while your hand is full. Gain one overdraw. If your hand is not full, you lose... Yeah. Okay. So because we have... Wow, the runic pyramid with the overdraw effect is kind of silly. Emergency break. Gain five block for each speed. That seems pretty good. Or I could do some more drifting. Let's uh, just take the zero mana stuff. Energy. Duplicate a card in your deck. Uh, more cruise control. Or I could gain more traction. So we can drift even further beyond. Zoom! I just love seeing this car pull up to <laughs> in the spire, man. Uh. All right, we're drifting. All right, let's get some overdraw accumulating here. Oh, we lost our drift. Got to keep the drift rolling. We're not drifting right now, so let's drift. And then keep it steady to drift some more. And then drop our speed. Boom. Once we hit the road rage... Gain some more drift. It's already nearly enough to full block here. Don't need more defense. Ooh, do need more of that. Alright, proc the overdraw. There's the road rage. That should be lethal. Gas, gas, gas. Exhaust a card. All of these are interesting because they're zero energy. I just realized that the energy icon is a gas canister. Let's go gas, gas, gas. Because of the overdraw effect, you can never have too many cards with this uh, a character, it seems. Toxic egg? Interesting. I'm going to grab that. And then we get to get another drift card. I could draw 12 cards. Uh, let's remove a strike. And I only have $14 left, so we move on. Uh, this is a rough turn. Let's actually just drink this so that we can... 
uh, get hurt a little bit less here. Let's hit the gas. Where is my drifting? Here we go. Surely this will draw me into it. We are now officially drifting. Keep the drift rolling. That's 11 right now. Let's hit that. Gain some more drift and more block. That is uh, 1521 perfect block. Drift again. Drift some more. Get angry. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. But man. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> We're just playing cards like a maniac. Uh, Bob and Weave is decent block as well as a useful tool for the overdraw mechanic. Yeah, the 135 degree turn has been pretty good. Let's see how this fight goes and determine what path we want. Pen nib is active streamer, streamer the pen nib. I guess I want to make sure we drift again here if we can. So that we can keep our momentum going. It's two momentum now. And that is 15 total block. So we're good. Unfortunately, the damage goes there. So I need to get some attacks in on this fella. Let's get that down. And then I think I want to do this to proc the overdraw so that we can just spam attacks off of the rage and get more cards out of them. I have one more momentum, so I don't need to keep it rolling here, but I might as well. This is incredible. I absolutely love this mod. Um, let's go here into here. That is perfect block thanks to the drift. More drift, more good. Let's do this here and this here. Boom, boom. Nineteen drift. Coming in hot. All right, we've seen all of these before. I feel like a recovery might be useful. The second cruise control, just for improving our decks, could also be interesting. But like, we hold on to a lot of cards. We could gain a lot of block with this recovery. Let's go this path and get another fight, of course. Not a great turn one, unfortunately. But we are going to start our drift in now. Drift again. Drift some more. We just let our drifting take care of everything. until we find the road rage and then that's when we just annihilate stuff. That's already gonna die, I don't know why I keep attacking it. 
My momentum is at two. That bird is at zero. Momentum currently at one, so I do want to find some more drifting to do. Okay, that's perfect for next turn. Turn. Still have. Uh oh. Am I out of momentum? Might as well activate our drift then. That's a lot of damage. So let's do a bunch of blocking. Keep letting the drift. Have I drawn the road rage yet. Let's ditch our speed for now. Keep the drift alive. There's the road rage. You've got to be dead at this point, right? Phenomenal. Cultist potion is good. So we don't have much in the way of scaling. Draw 12 cards. That seems unnecessary. Activate your drift to one gain, gain one speed for every drift. I don't. <sighs> Defensive driving seems good. But, like, I don't like losing my drift. I like keeping the momentum alive. So let's do that. Maw Bank and a fossilized helix. Those are both quite good. So we've got a lot of floors left before we are going to encounter another shop. Get our drift started. And then keep it rolling. Bop! Okay, this is not a good turn for me, is it? Nope, still not a good turn for me. <laughs> uh, we already have seven drift, so just take the kill. Do I have any way to drift here? It's not up here that I do. Well met. There we go. We're still drifting a bit here. There's way too much block, though, I'm realizing. This guy dies. Zeno, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. That's a lot of block. Fortunately, not quite enough. 
you die though. Let's keep it steady so we can get our momentum continuing. And then hit the road rage. Try and get the wizard off of the board. Just because I don't really use my attack too well. That'll show me. Keep the momentum up. I think we can just go here and try and kill this fella. And succeed. Sorry, lady. Peace pipe. That could be good for removing cards. At the end of your turn, all enemies lose HP equal to your total hand. This is your hand plus... Okay, I'm kind of into that. I am speed! That's quite good with uh, Runic Pyramid as well. So, I'm kind of into it. Oh, I don't actually want to buy anything at the shop, do I? Because of the mob bank. So... Let's skip this. We token? I kind of want to delete all of my strikes. Because strikes are yucky. Except that one. That one's fine, I guess. Okay. At a certain point, we can, like, just take one big hit for the sake of the... ...gain traction. Keep the drift rolling. I don't think this is the turn where I take the big damage, is it? I've got 11 block already. This is a disappointing card, it turns out. There's the Road Rage. That was too many cards discarded, but I wanted to make room in hand for... Get this up. I need to drift again, right? I don't have the capacity to do so. That's a lie. And this is 10 block plus the 12. It's 24. Um, or it's 1928. Let's do 28 to make our future turns a little bit better. I've got momentum still. I want to get this online. I haven't found a good way to do so. This might be it, though. Just get a bunch of passive damage through him. right now. Boom. I think it's time to road rage. Oh, almost got there. Oh, we got there. Good fight. Calipers is incredible for what we're trying to do right now. More drifting? I don't want a U-turn. That card seems less than helpful for me. Let's just keep drifting. And then this way, 
like we can keep the momentum going with the, the drift, which is what we want. What kind of lights do you use inside a spire? Definitely the fog lights. You want to blind all of your enemies. Let's gain some speed and start drifting. Get cruise control and traction, and then just snag a bunch of luck. Alright, we lost our drift, but we can get that reestablished. There we go. some more. We've got two momentum queued up. A whole bunch of block that does stick around. At least most of it. We need to get some more zero cost cards, I think. Boom! That was some intense drift. Which side of the road do you drive on in the spire? You straight down the middle. The first time you would draw while your hand is full each turn. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. Yes, thermal engine it is. I draw a lot of cards when my hand is full. And I'm needing some extra energy anyway. Let's toke out these strikes again. Let's see how good of a driver the champ is. Yeah, we're just going to let the... Uh... The buffer go off here. find our card draw. This counts. Get more block. And more drift. Let's keep the drift rolling. Get our overdraw rolling. I don't think this is ever going to get active. Let's drift some. Let's keep the blockchain rolling. Drift some more. Just casually burning our way through this guy. All right, let's uh, discard all of these cards, gain a bunch of block, redraw a new hand. Keep hitting the bob and weave. Like, I don't even have to think all that much. I just need to make sure that I retain the drift to keep the momentum going and just, like, spam block cards. Ideally, without using a whole bunch of my um, attacks so that I can keep the Art of War rolling. But even then, I have so much additional energy, it just doesn't matter. My momentum is at, what, two still? 
does it cap it to? Max is two, okay. Look, I didn't need to do this, and it probably wasn't even good, but, like, it was fun. I have 152 block, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Boom! Double your drift. All right, then. I do be drifting. Uh, I don't think I want the Sneko anymore. I do like the idea of the empty cage, though, so I can get rid of some of these attacks, because attacks are yucky. So, get rid of a strike. And the U-turn has honestly been atrocious, right? So let's get that out of there. And what's the latest store I can go to if I want to get real greedy? Doesn't look like there's a good option for that, so we just take one of the early stores because that's our only option. And I like this path because we get a couple of elites. Sure. Start the drifting. And get our powers online. There we go. I think we're pretty much fully set up. Just need to increase our drift and keep the momentum up. Eventually, we'll just double the drift as well. Fuel injection. Gain one speed. I don't really need the cultist potion, right? I don't need both of these. Or I don't need the coward's line here. Let's do that. Uh, 20, de 20 degree turn has been pretty good. What's all the blocking? I was promised reckless driving. Look. I'm drifting all over the place while I'm blocking. I'm blocking so that I can drift harder than you could possibly imagine. Abacus? Another thermal engine? Bob and Weave has been good. I'm just clicking cards because they seem fun. Oh, we could drift a bunch with this. Okay. Yeah, that seems fun. Fight the stranger. Oh, it's because I have the Yakuza. <laughs> the spoilers for the next run. <laughs> yeah, don't. S Wait, am I confused? Quite. 
Alright. Full block at least. That's a lot of health. Why does he have so much health? Why does his intent keep changing? What is going on? I'm very confused by a variety of things happening right now. But we should be largely good from here. Fifty-two drift coming in hot. Whoa! I feel like I've made a huge mistake in taking on this fight. I do have a lot of block and a lot of drift. Let's gain some speed so that we can drift even harder. I better get some good rewards for this. This is not at all what I was expecting here. This is a slog, yeah. Fortunately, I don't take a lot of damage. I can also just do this. Alright. One of them down. One of them, the main one, very low. Just keep it steady. Let's deal some damage here. Juice the pen nib. And win the fight, I guess. I don't know. Wait, I have to kill this thing too? I didn't sign up for that. I didn't sign up for any of this. My buff bar is out of control, by the way. Uh, I don't want to play any attacks here because I have the pen nib active. Boom. All right. Oh, we get a boss relic. That's kind of nice. I don't know how good fusion hammer is for me. I guess I have peace pipe, so it's fine. Draw four cards. This is good with the uh, overdraw mechanic. Alright, well that was something. Yeah, I'll don the red mask. I love Dawn. Colorless cards are yucky. Except for Dark Shackles. Everybody loves Dark Shackles. toke out some of the additional attacks so that we can ensure that um, we never get pendant value and uh, we always have Art of War active. Like the 45 degree turn isn't that helpful. Road Rage is fun though, so. What am I looking at? It's 
Just a game of Slay the Spire, I don't know. What do you think it is? Rift, keep the momentum up, draw some. Hmm. Let's draw some more. Just want to have a nice full hand so that I can do things like this. Rift. Keep it steady. Keep the overdraw rolling. And just retain my whole hand. This really wanted that in play. Oh well, next turn it is, I guess. And now we just get to start spamming our bob and weaves over and over again. While maintaining our Rift momentum. I'll hold one of those for next turn because I'm already at maximum momentum. Here, here. Just keep spamming blocks for a bit, especially the bobbin weave, to increase this number for the next few turns. Sure, we get some drift next turn. Keep the overdraw rolling, and we are cooking. Here, 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 here. I feel like we're just playing the same cards on repeat and holding everything else. <laughs> Which is fine, it's super effective, as you can see. I am running a little bit light on momentum right now, though. There we go. Alright, that should be good for next turn. Fifty-five damage. That's cute. Okay, hold here. some more. Bob and weave some more. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not gonna hurt, right? There we go. <laughs> 40... F <laughs> oh, our overdraw was at 45 there. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Smiling Mask could be good for the last shop. This could be good for the heart, right? Activate your Drift, gain three Thorns for each Drift for one turn. Just use this on the multi-attack and the heart explodes. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. It seems funny. Didn't you already remove that card from your deck? No, that was U-turn. This is Spin Out. Don't be silly. Uh, this seems very bad for me, so let's go ahead and toke this. I don't think I'm ever going to have two or fewer cards in my hand. We're well beyond that point. Uh, I need to get the... the key here. Now that said, Kunai is pretty good with the Road Rage.
No drift yet. Uh oh. So we take nine. By nine, I mean zero. My drift is currently six. That's not very good. That'll kill that now. any speed I just want that out I should have probably played that okay I think we're all right ish yeah no we definitely are Just need to get this in play, and we're fully set up. Boom, boom. Got seven energy. Let's do something funny here. A hundred and seventy seven thorns. Your turn. <laughs> oh, bag of prep is very good. Our first turn has been a little bit brutal. Bob and Weave are just incredible. We're gonna hit the damage cap on the heart for the single attack, not the multi-attack with this that level of thorniness. I should have done that in a different order. We just let that explode, right? Should happen after the um, this attack goes off. So there we go. Boom! We block. We lose the buffer, but it dies. Now we just go back to. Uh, Mindlessly playing block cards for a bit. We've got momentum set up. Neat. You're dead. Another cultist potion. The speed burst has been pretty nice, just for the sake of maintaining the overdraw effect. Let's get our powers down. Get the drift going. Yeah, 
and start stacking block. Yeah, we have become Metapod. Drift some more, get traction online, draw more, get traction online. Perfect. to get my overdraw and drift stacking as much as possible. I'm at 17 on the overdraw. Drift is all good as well. I mean, this probably is useful. Do this. Then drift, drift. Double it, activate it. You're dead. Okay, this is probably too many ritual pots for a deck that doesn't really attack. Does break do? Oh, real, I like drawing cards, not breaking. Let's get some more decks. Just spam powers into the Birdman and have no regrets whatsoever. What do I need out of the deck? This draws cards, so it's an acceptable attack. This seems less than useful. I don't gain a lot of speed. I only have one speed gain card, and I'm probably removing that as well. Although it does help me with the overdraw effect. Oh, we drew all of our bob and weaves. <laughs> and we lose the buffer, unfortunately. There we go. Uh, I want to, yeah, stack overdraw this fight so that I can do the AoE damage. Or at least that should be the goal. The primary goal, at least. That and gaining more and more block. Abacus proc. Draw enough cards to get there. Yes, this almost certainly does it, right? Easy. Ancient Potion. Again, probably better than that, especially for the heart. A second spin out. Probably don't need that. I'll take a break, though. I know I said it's for cowards, but I think it could be good for setting up our big power turns. Now, where's the speed generating card? Accelerate. Oh, oh god. I almost, thank you. I need the key. Chat save me there. That was very close. We almost had to do a quick alt F4 or something. Okay. 
Okay, this is the turn I kind of imagined um, break being good. And even then, it's not necessary, so. This is the card that is most important right now. drifting, but we can restart that pretty easily. Allegedly. Obtain the buffer. I need to draw. Be a kill on both birds. Hmm. Let's get some traction built up. Accelerate. For a moment I was confused why I still had that in my deck. Uh, I don't think I need both of those. Drift. Gas. Draw. We're probably done building up uh, or playing the powers. Looking to spam block for now while drawing a bunch of cards until the second phase. Dress some more. The bobbin weaves really help with our our damage accelerating them. Just for the, uh, the overdraw effect. I mean, at this point, I don't think much matters. We're gonna have infinity block for <laughs> the rest of this fight. At least I thought we were. That just maintains our momentum. There we go. Now I can play this and just keep the same game plan going. Boom! What is our drift at? Overdraw is currently at 53. Drift is at 18. Which mod is this? This is just a uh, regular Slay the Spire. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't need to do that, but it was really funny. Good fight. We are just straight zooming right now. Didn't even lose the buffer? Yeah. All right, now we can toke the accelerate out. We 
get to keep it steady. Keep the drift up. Or I could get a draw potion. And a card remove. Oh. Or just another cruise control. Just for the increased decks. You should just abuse Smiling Mask here. I mean, how does one abuse a Smiling Mask? I feel like it would just be using a Smiling Mask. I don't think we have trouble stacking armor or block, so I don't think this is the play. Is there anything worth removing? Probably. I've added a lot of cards to my deck over the course of this run. Uh, it could be the Tenacity. Could even be the... I think it's the Road Rage. And we probably ditch the Power Potion in favor of the Swift Potion just so that we can fully set up. This gets us a lot of card draw over the course of the Heart Fight as well. <laughs> oh, for some reason this just looks silly. Let's get traction down, then we can go here. Drift some more. Set our brakes. Do lose the buffer here. I just need to double that so that I get the block rolling a bit. We're just going to take a little bit of damage here because I have no way to turn. Oh, I guess I had the speed star. Uh. We should be set up now. Do you have artifact up? I literally cannot see what's going on here. Yeah, we finally took damage. Bummer. Zoom in! I am at 13. What if we do this? Hit me with your best shot, nerds. <laughs> oh, perfect. A strike dummy and a smoke bomb. Couldn't think of two worse offerings for me right now. I never have two or fewer cards. Let's get another keep it steady. Let's do this. Start our drifting. Get some speed. See if we can hit our powers. Oh, I should have played this way sooner. I also forgot to use my artifact potion. It's fine, we're just trying to play on hard mode here. So far, we've been a little bit unsuccessful. Okay. You can just always let the buffer eat this. Yeah, 
the buffer gets eaten here. But we do get a full turn of setting up our block again. There we go. Bop! 69 block. Nice. Keep the bob and weaves going again. boost, drift. I just need to find the uh, spin out again, right? Yeah. And then we are all set. I shouldn't be able to die here. Where? Spin out. I want to spin out. Forty four damage. That's cute. We're going to hit the spin out right when I don't have an attack coming in. And we're just going to kill with the drift. Oh, I guess I could have gone with the break drift. That would have been a good idea. Ruffle, your driving is giving me a heart attack. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how you know it's working. And that was a final heart attack as well. Thank you, Cathandrian, for the bits in the lap. As usual. Oh my god, that was so much fun. I was just straight zooming. Look at me go. There's photographic evidence of me zooming. Look at I finally found a parking spot, chat. Come back next week when Roffle mods a fully functional 2003 Hyundai Elantra into duels. If only. If only. I mean, that's practically what people are doing already and why Heroic is down. Thank you.